Hello, everybody. Welcome to Underwear. Because there is nothing goofier or funnier than this movie. Nothing has ever been funnier than this movie. Uh, you've set a high standard. No, this movie is just so dumb, though. I think you're going to like it. Neither Jude or Brent have seen it. I've read the books multiple times over. Let's go. Oh, my God. It's the moon. We're getting moon because this movie's about underpants. Yeah. You, you, you beat me to the moon, Joe. Captain Underpants. The origin issue. I wish Illumination did this so we'd see the pores on their face for some reason. I want to see the pus coming out of their pimples and stuff. I want to see like the little prepubescent mustache on both of them. And when the wind blows, you want to see it just do a little. Uh, just draw these idiotic comics. Please. Hey, everybody. Wait, one second. Hi, I'm George Beer. And this is my best friend, Harold Hutchins. Hey. You might be wondering how I got myself into this situation. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> Mean old Mr. Krupp hates anything fun, like comic books, even kittens. Oh my god! <laughs> I like him. He burns kittens to a crap. <laughs> to a crap to a crisp. This morning's school sign is supposed to read, Sewage plant field trips are today. So can either of you explain why it now reads, Come see my hairy armpit. <laughs> Sewage plant trips is just as funny in my opinion. <laughs> oh, it is. Yeah, that sounds like a meme. It sounds like something you would have done as a child, Jude. I did. It wasn't a choice. It was some lady at church that demanded she take a bunch of the kids. And we were like, wow, it's water. We saw that and then we saw like, like the freaking animatronics at uh Five Nights at Freddy's uh, the creation museum that are just like Arr! what's going on Tommy same old same old <laughs> there's not even a bully or anything around <laughs> he just goes straight in the bullying so bad that he bullies himself to avoid the bully <laughs> pro gamer strat right there honestly from the sun it's called Uranus <laughs> Uranus <laughs> yeah! Your anus! <laughs> Known as a gas giant. I love when people like Thomas call it Uranus. <laughs> no, you gotta call it the funny name. Your space anus. That is the only acceptable name. Y-O-U-R-A-N-U-S. And who could forget sad worm? It was a worm who was sad. That one's still a work in progress. That's our humor. What is going on right now? I told you you would love this. I told you you would love this movie. <laughs> Just like it's a worm who's sad. <laughs> anyway. I watched this movie day dot like the second it came out because I knew it was going to be really funny. And I've been waiting to show it to you two for like years. Get in the car, boys. You've got the invention convention today. I wish they were all chained together. That would make it so much better. I know we're like 20 minutes into the movie, but I'm going to say this is the best animated movie I've seen since the newest Spider-Verse. It's such a good movie and no one freaking talks about it aside from everyone making clips of it on, on TikTok. Well, look no further than this giant binder. The binder binder. This giant binder. My girlfriend would own this. <laughs> like, honestly, straight up. Feast your eyes on this. The Turbo Toilet 2000. I don't know what it does, but that's a funny name. It's a toilet. I, w I want all toilets to be like airplane toilets where they just fire your poop out at like Mach 45. You flushed my toilet before, Jude. It's extreme. I've put some big poops in that thing and it just all the way out. It's scary. There's no stains because it just rips it out with such force that none of it can stay. Where is it getting all of that toilet paper from though? No, that's his invention is that it can invent or spawn toilet paper in. Inventing something that can create matter out of thin air is a much bigger invention than toilet paper. You see, Melvin is yet to demonstrate his most impressive invention from today. The gun. I was gonna say that! <laughs> They're gonna just shoot them? Why? <laughs> I finally got you. We've finally got them, sir. I hope that kid develops an autoimmune disease. <laughs> he probably already has one. Jesus. It's a fictional blob of animation, Brent. Because I'm going to have you two placed in separate <laughs> classes. Such a sinister way for him to explain like a normal logistical thing. He's like, hey, I'm going to put you in separate <laughs> classes. Our friendship's over. I'll never see you again in my life. <laughs> <laughs> They're sitting next to each other on their own property. <laughs> As he says that, it's so good. Imagine the future. Within months, we'll be awkwardly bumping into each other at the mall. Uh, hey, George. Hey, 
Do I know you? Everything except fabric softener for all of your non-fabric softener needs. I love that so much. Pop, you got a target and they're out of fabric softener? You sound like Kevin Hart. I'm watching Kevin Hart. I'm about to fart. Um, <laughs> it's Kevin Hart. Wow, you think all Kevin Hart's sound the same, Bren? God. My hip no ring. I never even got to take it out of the wrapper. I like the idea that you have to spin your hand for somebody to be hypnotized like all the way around. Yeah, it's like, hey, you're, get, you're getting very... Uh, you're Put the pin down, Mr. Krupp, or we'll hypnotize you. What? What? What is that? Forged from the molten plastic of Shin Dog, Dog China. China. The only thing true about that was China. The Hypno Ring. The Hypno Ring. If you haven't been on TikTok, or at least a side of TikTok I've been on, just the line, the Hypno Ring, is the funniest thing ever to you. <laughs> You are now, are now the greatest superhero of all time, the, the amazing Captain, Captain Underpants! Tra -la -la. I had no idea that's where this was going, I'm gonna be honest with you. Hey, that is the origin of Captain Underpants. This is amazing! <laughs> Let's see what's afoot. Wait, oh. no! I like the idea that he splits his head open on the concrete and that's the end of this movie. <laughs> oh, this takes me back. I love that they have an actual model model figurine of him that they made from their comic. And then a plunger. Oh, they're in, they're in Ohio! Ew! P wait, where is this? I don't think that's a real place. This is a real place. It's just north of Dayton. Ew, the bad city in Ohio. It's lame. Dayton looks like a city skyline city that I deleted. Columbus, yeah, you're fine. Cleveland. Cleveland, biggest one. You're probably also fine. Cincinnati's fine. What is Dayton? Cleveland's a freaking dump. <laughs> Give me that. Tra -la -la. See? Problem solved. I love that he just strips immediately. That's his first instinct. Puff, when you're when when you're when you're when you're about to take a shower. Aha! Punis, punis, punis. I have a feeling that that was on purpose. That is too perfect to not be on purpose. <laughs> yeah, because this shot is so wide and then it cuts off him. <laughs> I did receive counseling for some trauma I experienced as a child. I'm getting a really good vibe about you. Most public schools. It says here that you were a genius inventor. Man, dude. Genius inventor. <laughs> that is embedded into the table now. That is not coming out. That'd be a sick thing to have in your table, though. That's kind of cool. I mean, yeah, that would be kind of cool, actually. Dude, I have restrictive enough desk space that is, as it is. I don't need one of those on my table. You, what, you don't want a mace embedded in your desk? No, I don't need a mace in my desk. I'm your cool new teacher, not some scary guy with a secret evil agenda. Professor P. P, that's like urine. And yellow like pee. Yeah. This is the brain of an average child. Of the average child. <laughs> I love that he's German. Yeah, he's a German scientist. He has very good opinions. I would want to get rid of laughter. Why are you trying to get rid of laughter? Isn't laughter the best medicine? Medicine <laughs> is the best medicine. Big pharma. Yeah, guys, don't take your meds. They're evil. Just laugh. What does it stand for? Oh, it's private. So that means your name is Professor Private? <laughs> What's so funny? I don't, I don't get it. Um, guys, that's not funny. It's not allowed in this area. Maybe outside, but not in the school. You cannot sleep while enemies are nearby. Poopy pants, hallelujah. Whoa, they all know that he has a poopy pant, potentially plural. I don't get it. Oh, why is it funny? Anti-humor boy. Fart three. Heck yeah. I want to go see fart three. And I want to see fart one and two before that, obviously. So I'm caught up on the fart lore. The fart movie series is like an anthology series. So you don't have to watch them in order to understand what's going on. They're just different pieces from the same universe. So is it like Black Mirror or is it like The Simpsons? Is it like... I'm thinking Simpsons meets Schindler's List. Okay, I get, I get what you're saying now. That makes sense. Can I please? Yes, cram, okay? We're close for Ebola. Did you say Ebola? This was made in like 2019, by the way. <laughs> like Ebola was not a thing anymore. <laughs> that makes it even funnier, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> yeah, because it's not relevant at all. <laughs> How did this... I want to be this good man. The kid in the cotton candy machine just getting spun. Also, what are the rules to this? How much water? So if he sweats, he's just like... Sweat isn't water. What is in sweat? So salt. And? Liquid. Right. So I think he's got us on this one. The world as you know it is about to go extinct. 
and a new world order is about to rise. Oh, it's the new world order. It's 666 is the mark of the beast, aka Mr. Beast. Guys, we had to sign a blood contract to do this YouTube thing. Um, We signed away our souls. Eva. The truth is, you have probably like the greatest name we've ever heard. I mean, George, imagine if we had names like that. I'd be butt cheeks Von Stinklesburg. It's hard to make jokes about this because they're just doing it for me. That's why I said we have to just out goofy this movie somehow. Goofy impression. No. <laughs> yeah, he just out goofy. He out goofy the hut. He just out pizza the hut. And as you know, nobody out pizzas the hut. What about the frozen pizzas at like Kroger and Walmart? Nobody out pizzas the hut. What about like chef pizza that's like made at an actual restaurant? Well, part of nobody out pizzas the hut do you not understand? Dude, I haven't had pizza hut in like 10 years. <laughs> no, me neither. I haven't. I, I can't remember the last time I ate pizza hut. <laughs> Guys, this is how Skibbity Toilet it was invented. Just saying. I still have no idea what that is. No, the Skibbity Toilet's dead. It's all about the amazing digital circus now. That's the thing you can't get anymore. I'll keep you updated on the stuff that you don't know about. Don't worry. Stop laughing! You're ruining everything! There we go. Where was the sky beam? I'm missing a sky beam in this movie, though. The giant shockwave is close enough. It's up there with sky beams. The drone army that uh, all turn off at the end of the movie, basically, is, yeah. We'll see who's laughing once I shrink you down, where you will live in my pocket forever amongst my extra moisturized SPF lip balm. SPF lip balm? What does that do? Your lips aren't going to get tan? It keeps the sun from chapping your lips. Ra -la -la, I feel... Awesome. Oh my god, brother. I like how he just comes back to normal with his body shape there. Oh, there's more where that came from. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Just Captain Underpants in the wind over here. <laughs> He's not wearing anything. These are coming off every single time. Like it. Okay, I thought the whole school was just gonna crash into the ground. <laughs> that would have been awesome. No, 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 Captain Underpants! <laughs> You're welcome, Peacekeeper! This picture right now, what is happening? <laughs> <laughs> There's a robot toilet that's dead, a building ripped out of its foundation, turned on its side gently, a giant bird, giant toilet paper, and police arresting nothing that. You know, George. Bringing back Krupp permanently? We'll never be in the same class again. Just because we're in separate classes doesn't mean we can't be friends. We, we just arrived at this conclusion after an hour and a half, guys. <gasps> Benjamin Krupp. You sly dog. You sly I dog, Benjamin Crow. Can't decide if I loved or hated how that split screen worked, where it just kept moving with the audio. That was weird. Yo, yo, get him up. Yo, yo. Ah! Bro's in the toilet recycling center, and it's next to a restaurant. Oh, whoa. Uh, waiter, check, please. I like how it, it works on himself. If you didn't know, the title of this movie is Captain Underpants, the first epic movie like that, and they never made a second one. <laughs> Heck yeah. This is one of the better things we've watched in a minute. I don't know how this didn't end up having more traction. And it did. When it came out, like, I don't remember anyone talking about it. If you like good movies, we have an entire playlist of them, by the way. Yes, it's called Good Movies, I think. Um, we're making unofficial, fake, illegal Skippy toilet merch. So go buy that. <laughs> have a day. <laughs>